So I was able to make it over to Heroes Con in Charlotte this weekend. I went over there on Saturday for a few hours. And believe it or not, this is my first comic convention. And so I didn't know what to expect, but man, are they all like this? Because I was just like completely blown away of this giant room <laughs> full of so many, so many comics, creators. I mean, it was just... It was insane. I, I don't even know. It's it's impossible to describe this place if you haven't been. So yeah, I was able to meet with Shortbox for a brief minute. They gave me this t-shirt. Thank you for that. And uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool. I sell through them, as many of you know. Yeah, I had to stop by their booth. I, they're the first stop I made. And um, CGC was there full force. They were taking books in, witnessing signatures, all that stuff. I saw Matt Nelson like 10 feet. He had a line behind him and uh, yeah, I didn't know what to say to him. Hey, I submit books. I mean, he looked like he was working, so I didn't want to bug him. But I did talk to a couple of the employees there, and they were very, very nice. And, uh, yeah, they had a cool setup there. Now, I roved around. I saw everything that I could in four or five hours, and it wasn't even half, and I was rushing. So, really, this is something I need to go back next year and spend a full weekend there and probably going to take 30 hours I would think to really see everything talk to the people I'd like to meet the people I like all that stuff you know and uh yeah so that's that's a good thing this was a good taste of it though and uh it was a lot of fun I was there with the family you know I could only do so much and uh but I did get a few signatures and I didn't know I didn't have any books to sign I don't really believe in signing books myself so I got one of their convention uh, programs, and I had a few artists sign, a few artists, writers, creators sign that. So I met nine of them, and that's really all I had time. I probably waited in lines maybe an hour and a half, two hours total. But I did get, I'll put the names on the screen, I got quite a few very, very cool signatures. You can see Al Milgram right there. Probably my favorite right here that I met was uh, my favorite modern artist there is Maria Wolf. And, uh, yeah, she was very, very cool. And uh, really interested in the cleaning and pressing, too. So we talked about that a little bit. Bob McLeod's on here. Um, Tom DeFalco. Joe Statton. I mean, uh, I've got Scotty Young on here. I mean, it's very, very cool. So what I'm going to do, and the reason I waited in these lines was for you guys. I'm actually going to give this away to one of you. And uh, I'm going to do my 4,000 subscriber giveaway. And one of you is going to get this. I'm going to give away something else. And... I don't know what yet, but I just want to go ahead and announce it ahead of time. I'm probably going to wait till I get, I'm going out of town for a few days. Probably going to wait till I get back to figure out exactly what I'm giving away. But that is one of the things I'm going to give away. And, uh, I mean, it's not this video. Like, I'm, you know, sure, comment and everything, but I'm not doing the official giveaway yet. But I just want to go ahead and mention that and make this video before I go out of town while it's still fresh in my head or whatever. Yeah, but other than that, the other highlight of the day, and, I mean... I couldn't even believe, I still can't believe I was in the presence of the books that I saw at this one location, Metropolis Comics. I know most of you or a lot of you have heard of Metropolis Comics, but they had, it was like the talk of the convention probably. <laughs> um, the books they had there, I'm, I took some pictures, short videos of it, just so you can see. You know when you're looking in a case and there's an Amazing Fantasy 15, and the one in the case the, was probably the 10th most valuable book in that case? Yeah, <laughs> you know you're looking at something cool when that's the case. They had a couple of Batman 1s right next to each other. There's not that many of these things in the world, right? But they were right next to each other. There was a giant size X-Men 1 9.8 sitting there. A couple other 9 point, like Turtles 1, first print, 9.8. I was like that far from it. Yeah, um... Look that one up, see how many of those there are in the world. Oh, man, it was just incredible to see these books. And uh, their wall books and everything were just as just as spectacular. And uh, pretty much every first appearance you could ever think of or want was right there at this place. Anyways, I don't even know. Somebody can count up how many millions of dollars in comic books were right there in front of me. Anyways, yeah, so next year I hope they're back, and I hope to see some more cool books like that. Because that was just, that was ridiculous. So, yeah, uh, me and the family stayed there about five hours. Uh, we were pretty wiped out. They were definitely wiped out. My adrenaline just, I mean, I could have stayed there as long as they would have let me <laughs> stay there up until close. But I, it wouldn't, wouldn't have been fair to my family. They were, you know, they're not big comic people. 
I missed a couple that I wanted to see. I wanted to uh, see Charlie Vess. I know he was there. There were a couple others, and I'll get to them next year if they're back. It, it, you know, I can't, you can't do everything in five hours, right? So it was a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments what conventions have you, did you go to Heroes Con? Were you there wandering around while I was there or anything? Um, did you meet anybody? Did you wait in one of those long lines? What's your favorite convention? I'd love to hear from you on what your guys' take is. Did, do you go there for the signatures? All that good stuff. Probably got a couple more stories I could tell about it. But I'll maybe save that for another time. Al, Al Milgram was like the huge character. You know, he was cracking jokes. Very personable. He stood there talking to one guy for almost an hour. And he kept talking to the guy while he was doing some signatures. And uh, so, yeah, if you ever get a chance to go to a convention and Al Milgram's there, you definitely, definitely, that's that's a must-see. you got to go meet that guy. Um, Scotty Young was um, uh, a little bit more business. He wasn't really talking to fans or anything. He was just quickly signing signatures. That's probably why he didn't have a huge line, because he was just busting people out, wasn't really talking to anybody, smiling, none of that stuff. He was all business. Uh, Maria Wolf um, did not have basically one person at a time. There was no line. She's kind of new on the scene. She's got Her art is just amazing. So the convention was very, very well run. Great job. I've met the owner of Heroes in Charlotte. Very nice guy, and he ran. This was a class operation. The place was clean. You know, the food was good. Not healthy, but it was good. And, uh, yeah, I mean, everything you could ever expect. I have nothing negative to say about it. It was easy to access. The parking was easy. They lowered the prices for parking for the convention goers. It was like a third of what it normally would have been. So yeah, highly recommended. So that's it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you went. I would love to hear it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.